G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you something special, something that is rare to me, and that is that I've purchased some new fish. As you can see, pretty much all the tanks I have in my fish room are full, even on this side now. Uh, this side, they're full of bristlenose catfish, different types, and uh, some guppies, but I've purchased some brand new Tanganyikan cichlids, and I haven't purchased any in pretty much over a year. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, it was a pretty spur of the moment decision as well. Uh, these are some of the nicest specimens I've seen of this species of fish, uh, especially in Sydney, Australia. I have come across them uh, occasionally with, with this good coloration, but it has been a while. So I am keen to show you what I've purchased and um, I'm sure you're gonna really like this purchase and hopefully I can breed these guys because they are an incredible looking bloodline. I've got the tank ready, I've just been doing a water change. That's why the room is a little bit messy, I've got my water change equipment still out, but I really wanna show you guys these fish in the bag and then I'm gonna pop them in the tank and I'm gonna show you them in the tank. I'm also gonna pop some bristlenose catfish in the tank because there is some algae on the glass, but those bristlenose catfish will take care of that in no time. But uh, yeah, I'll show you these fish. And here they are guys, as you can see, their coloration is quite impressive even in the bag. I've got four of the guys and uh, they are pretty much at breeding size. I'm really impressed uh, with the size and the quality of them. I'm going to get them out of this bag because they have been sitting in the tanks acclimating and uh, I'll get them in the tank now and I'll show you what they look like in there. So the Lelupi have been in the tank for about three days now and they're doing okay. Uh, nothing unusual is happening. All the kind of usual stuff you would expect with Leilupis in a new environment. They're chasing each other around. The larger ones are asserting their dominance. The smaller ones are hiding behind the sponge filters. When I first put them in the tank, I suspected that there might have been a pair straight off the bat and I was stoked. Uh, however, that doesn't seem to be the case at the moment. I've got the two smallest Leilupis hiding behind the sponge filters, as I said, and the two largest ones inhabiting the, the rock work. Uh, they chase each other around occasionally. I'm pretty sure the two larger ones that you can see at the front there are males, just from the look of their dorsal fin. It's very, very pointed, uh, but they're doing quite well. They're all eating and they're in quarantine at the moment, obviously. So they're going to be in here, like I said earlier, for about uh, six to eight weeks, just to make sure they don't have any uh, diseases. And that should give me enough time to get an idea of uh, how, how they're going and then I'll introduce them into the, to the system, then put them in one of the two by two foot tanks uh, and I'll move out. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna move out one of my breeding pairs of Regani into a different tank and put these guys into the system in one of the two by two cubes. So they got a larger swimming area and uh, much more stable water parameters for these guys. As you can see, there is some algae on the glass. Uh, the bristlenose catfish haven't done as good a job as I hoped, uh, but that's no problem, I'll get that out in the next water change. Uh, I was kind of in a rush to get this tank ready for these guys because as I said, this was, this was a spur of the moment purchase. I was using this aquarium basically to hold water for my water change water for the other tanks uh, below this tank in the system. This is the first time it's had fish in it uh, since I set this tank up at the beginning of the year. So again, spur of the moment decision just to whack the lay loopies in here. So yeah, there is some algae in here, but there are also three uh, albino bristlenose catfish in here. So they'll eventually get to it in their own time, I suppose. And uh, I'll, next time I do a water change on this tank, I'm gonna uh, siphon out all the big clumps of algae. The only concern that I have with putting the Leilupis in this tank is that this tank is black all around and it's bare bottom. Uh, I'm concerned that the Leilupi may darken up over time because of the dark sides and uh, black bare bottom tank. We'll see what happens. I have noticed the Leilupi, especially the ones at the back, darken a little bit, but they are still quite vivid orange, uh, which is nice to see. So they're, they're feeding on mysa shrimp, uh, brine shrimp. I haven't introduced them to pellet food yet. However, the local fish store said that they were on New Life Spectrum pellet food. So I will try them on that today and hopefully they'll uh, accept that. And yeah, they're exhibiting, again, they're exhibiting the behavior that I expected new Leilupi to exhibit. I have had Leilupi before in the past, talking years ago when I was a teenager, and uh, I never got to breed them, and they would definitely weren't this, uh, this color. So hopefully this time around, I'll be able to spawn these guys, hopefully get a pair out, out of them. Uh, but 
yeah, they're, 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 they're in a holding tank at the moment, just quarantine. So they've got some rocks in there just to give them some uh, caves and just some shelter, uh, just so they can feel a, bit, a little bit more comfortable in quarantine. And then, uh, yeah, again, once I know that they're, they don't have any viruses, I will introduce them into the main system behind me. So yeah, you can see them swimming around, doing their little thing. The largest Leilupi there is kind of harassing the second largest Leilupi. Uh, I really hope I get a pair out of these guys, but there's no guarantees, especially when you buy larger adult fish. Uh, you might get lucky, like I got lucky with my white Alto Lamprologus calvus. Within three months, I had, I had them spawning from purchasing them, uh, and they were a large adult pair. No guarantees with these. These weren't sold as pairs. They just they tried to pick them out from the aquarium and tried to sex two males and two females. Be great if I get two pairs out of them, but I really, really doubt that. I'll be lucky to get one pair out of these four. But uh, beautiful, beautiful coloration. If they hold that coloration, I would be stoked. So what do you guys think? Do you think those Neolamprologus Leilupi are some of the best specimens you've ever seen? I'm sure there are probably better varieties out in the wider world, but for Sydney, Australia, these guys are up there. I'm really, really happy with this purchase and I really do hope to breed them soon. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe buttons. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.